Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, wanted to do a quick video, and uh, basically, what I want to talk about is um, solar and wind power as opposed to being grid tied. And uh, you know, so that way, being off grid and having your own solar power and wind power, okay? Um, so, if you're looking at solar panels and uh, you know, let's just, we're just going to kind of go with some rough numbers here, just kind of guesstimate, guesstimations, if you will, okay? But let's say you're paying $150 um, per 100 watt solar panel. Just, just going to use that number. So if you have 10 solar panels, you're looking at 1,000 watts of power. It's going to cost about $1,500, okay? Now you're going to need batteries. Now, if you go top of the line batteries, which um, are, in my in my opinion, are the Trojans, um, they actually they make them in Buffalo. Um, I could actually I would have to go to Buffalo to get these batteries. They go about 250 bucks a piece, okay. Um, but or if you wanted to just basically go for a short term and go with like a Marine Deep Cycle battery, now you're looking at about 100 dollars a piece. So let's just go with that number for right now, okay. So we're going to go with the Marine Deep Cycle battery. Hundred dollars a piece. So let's just say ten batteries. We'll go with ten. Okay. So there's another thousand dollars. So now you're looking at twenty-five hundred dollars so far. Now you're going to look at your cost of your connections. You're going to have to buy a charge controller, and um, you know, so you're looking at a hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty bucks for your charge controller. I mean, for, I'm sorry, your inverter. Your inverter is going to be about hundred and fifty bucks, hundred and hundred and sixty something in that range. And then you're looking at your charge controller, which is going to probably cost you around another eighty to hundred dollars if you get a decent one. Okay, and then your wiring. Okay, so let's just basically say for a thousand watt system and ten batteries and all your other little accessories, your wire and stuff like that. Let's say the total cost is going to be around three thousand dollars. Okay, now if you want to go with a wind turbine on top of that, now you're looking at for a 400 watt wind turbine, you're looking at about maybe four or five hundred bucks. Now you're talking the tower is going to cost you obviously more. You know your guy wires and putting in the concrete blocks to make sure that the thing doesn't blow over. You know you're you're talking some money there as well. But we're just basically going to talk about like the the initial cost of solar. Now you're going to tweak it. You're going to add more add more batteries. Um, you know add more panels as you can. But we're just going to go with that basic number, okay? So people say, oh, well, you know, $3,000, that's a lot of money, which, yes, it is, okay? And I don't have $3,000 to put in right away to get what I want. I'm going to go a little bit at a time and work my system up from there. And I've already said before, I'm going to um, utilize my generator for excess power until I get my system where I want it to be. But now I'm going to go against the cost of what your monthly gas and electric bill is. Now, I'm going to go by an average of what I pay. My average bill ends up being around $200 a month. Now, granted, I burn wood also, so it would be higher in the winter without burning wood. But let's just go with a $200 a month average. So for 12 months, you're looking at $2,400, okay? So basically, for what you pay in one year, you can have a nice start to your off-grid stuff basically okay now in year two three and four you're not going to need as much stuff you might spend let's say you spend five hundred dollars a year on your solar stuff just upgrading because solar panels will last you 30 freaking years i mean they'll keep just making more and more power your batteries should looking at about 10 years if you take care of them right so but let's so let's just say you uh, 500 bucks a year for upkeep well, $2,400 a year, every year, year in, year out, year in, year out. And, and as we all know, the cost of the gas and electric never goes down. It's always going to go up, okay? To your system that you have yourself, and basically within the first two years, you're basically paid for everything that you need to have for your solar and wind turbine system, okay? Then after that, it's all gravy, you know? And that's why I don't understand why more people don't go that route. Well, probably because it's work and it's effort and, you know, it costs money. Well, you're still paying out that money every freaking month. So to me, it makes a lot more sense. And that's why when we move down to the property this year, it will be completely off-grid. And yes, I will utilize the generator in the short term 
until I can build up my battery bank and until I can build up my solar panels and get a wind turbine in and do all that and get things going in that aspect. Okay, so just wanted to throw that out there so you guys could kind of understand my thought process of why I do it this way. And it gives you guys something to think about as well, you know, if you want to, even if you just did it on a slow term thing to start, you know what I mean? Just get a couple batteries, get a couple of panels, and just have it as a backup, you know, for whenever there is a power outage, you know what I mean? It's a smart thing to do, you know? And then eventually, maybe, you know, a lot of people do grid tied, but when they do the grid tied, you know, where if you're paying for your gas and electric and they charge you, this is just an example, they charge you $60 per watt, or 60 cents a watt, let's say. They're only going to pay you 25 cents a watt for what the excess power that you're bringing in. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, I would never go grid tight. I would just be completely independent all the way. This is my power. I'll utilize it the way I want to. They can kiss my behind. I don't want nothing to do with them. Once we move out of here, I will have nothing to do with a gas and electric company ever again. So, so I'm just going to give you that example. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, you know, I've had people say, oh, it's like $24,000 to get a system. No, no, it's not anywhere near that, okay? Um, you know, if you want to add things onto your system and make it better, it's going to cost you more depending on what you want to do. Basically, is what it comes down to. You know, it's wants and needs. You know, do I need to have the microwave or do I want to have the microwave? Do I need to have, you know, whatever, uh, whatever other utilities you're going to run? like an air conditioner, or do I want it, you know, so it, it all comes down to that, so, um, so that's it for now, um, let me know what your thoughts are, and I appreciate it, and, um, so that's it, Prepper Nurse went off for now.